All right, I got another legal video for you because we all love the law, right? No, uh, truth is, actually, I've mentioned I'm a theater actor. I was going to have my first directing gig. One of my all-time favorite movies, 12 Angry Men. And what's that movie about? 12 strangers deciding the fate of an accused murderer. And, you know, if they choose wrong, a murderer could walk the street. Or worse, in my opinion, an innocent man could be executed. That's what makes it such a great movie. It's not on the fault of the defense to prove without a doubt they didn't do it. It's on the pro. There's just there the defense's job to prove there's enough reasonable doubt that you didn't do it. It's not 100. percent That's the legal system, at least here in America, mm. and what it should be. So this Alec Baldwin thing. Now I know he's a lefty woke guy, but uh, you know again. Like I said in my last video, no matter who you vote for, justice should always prevail. I don't care what your politics are. Justice should always be fair to both parties, all parties. And there should be more than two. Alec Baldwin took a gun. Okay, He was told, here's the gun. It's loaded with blanks. They were told by the armorer, whose job it is to load the weapons. And people have been saying, I hear this is the dumbest thing I've heard. Okay? Is how do you, why was he pointing at anyone in the first place? Th that's how they get this shot, ladies and gentlemen. This shot right here in movies, they got to point it at the camera. And there's a cameraman, and there's a director, and there's an assistant director behind the camera. Done. So that's how they got that shot. And that's how he ended up shooting the assistant director. And it is said, but why is Alec Baldwin getting all this crap? I'm so sick of people. Oh, I don't care, actor or not, he should have checked. I check my weapons when I go to the range. You're not making a movie, dipshit. Okay? It was the armorer's job to load that. You think Mel Gibson and Danny Glover loaded all their own weapons for lethal weapon movies? You think Bruce Willis loaded all his weapons for the Die Hard movies? You think Keanu Reeves checks and loads every fucking gun himself on the John Wick and Matrix movies? You think Tom Cruise checked... All 10,000 rounds before going into his jet. You think he hand-loaded that? You think the actor hand-loaded that? Do you know how those jets are loaded? You have crates fucking this big. Belts stacked this way. Back in 4,000s of rounds. Blanks. No, Tom Cruise did not and was not in charge of inspecting that and then skyjacking it up and loading it into his equip into the plane on the set of a battle cruiser. No. That was somebody else's responsibility. That was the armorer's responsibility. This girl, this isn't even her first offense. Google her, by the way. Tell me this looks like a weapon. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm stereotyping here. Yes, I think a chick with half green, half purple hair, wearing mesh shirts with tape on her nipples is probably not a firearms expert, okay? But that's who they keep hiring. Nicolas Cage's new movie. She got fired off of that, or at least reprimanded. Because she almost shot Nicolas Cage. She wasn't on set. She wasn't filming a shoot scene. She's over there. Do, 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 loading the guns. <laughs> Pow! Oopsie! It just went off. Like, guns don't just go off. Her finger was on the trigger. Okay, I've loaded blanks myself. I'm in theater, as I've mentioned. Last fall, in fact, we had a scene. My boy Caleb, we were filming Pickman's Model. He, or not filming, doing a live production of Pickman's Model. My boy Caleb had to run back off stage where I was waiting with the pistol that I loaded with the blanks. I hand it to him. I put a blanket over to protect his suit because we had multiple performances. And he fires it at the ground while I throw blood in his face like that. One, two, three with the shots. I take the pistol from him, take the blanket. He goes back out on stage. Now, at some point, had I decided he, he, ho, ho, took the blanks out and brought real bullets on stage and decided to put real bullets into the gun and gave it to him. And Caleb shot somebody or, you know, he was shooting at the ground. If he shot holes in the floor, you're telling me you'd blame Caleb and not me? The guy who put the bullets in it and decided, well, it's, if you look at a bullet and a blank, they both have casings filled with powder. The bullet, a live round, has a bullet, an actual bullet sticking out. A blank ends at the casing, and it has like a wax rubber top over it, usually green or red. Usually green, though, over the top. 
And it's, it's just there to hold. It's not a projectile like a bullet. It's just there to keep the gunpowder from falling out. They're very easy to tell. But this woman, excuse me, cannot tell the difference between the two. Why is she not being charged? Because it's Hollywood. It's funny. Conservatives are defending him more because they know it's not his job. It's not his job. You're told you're handed a pistol. Hey, film the scene. Don't worry. It's blanks. Okay. Point it at the camera. Bang. Somebody's dead because the idiot put bullets in it. The conservatives, even though Alec Baldwin hates conservatives, have his back. And it's liberals that are like, well, he should have checked it. It's not the person who loads the gun's fault. She broke protocol and brought live rounds on the set. It's not her fault. She can't tell the difference between a bullet and a blank. And she's the armorer and loading the guns. And she doesn't know the difference between a bullet and green rubber. No. Er, er, boobies. Er, er, my vagina. She's not responsible. Okay? The Dark Knight, 2008. They actually blew up that building. Chicago had a hospital they were going to demolish and build a new one. Because it was out of code, it was old, and it would be cheaper to build new than repair. So they actually rigged that up as Gotham Hospital, and they gave Heath Ledger the detonator. And in one of Hollywood's greatest pieces of improv, it didn't go off. He turns the trigger, and, it, and he starts slapping it, and throwing his arms up. And finally it goes off. So you're saying if, if the demolition team put explosives too strong in there, and they blew up, and they killed another innocent person, it would have been Heath Ledger's fault for not inspect for the actor not inspecting the demolition crew's work? He should know about explosives and shit? Ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Sorry, I'm, I'm Baldwin all the way on this, dude. Like, it's so dumb. Oh, he should have inspected his gun. Fuck you. The armorer should not have put real bullets in it and handed it to the actor and said, go for it. I think they're blanks. Hee <laughs> hee.